Hello and welcome back to Turkey from Antalya on the south coast. I've made my way here from Istanbul and in this video I'm going to be showing the prices here, comparing them to Istanbul. I made a video on the Turkish Lira situation and the general cost of things. So let's walk around one of the most visited places in the country with many tourists coming from countries like my own across the year for warm weather and history like this Hadrian's Gate which enters into the old town. I'm going to walk through and show you some of the prices along the way. The new town on this side, lots of trees and blue sky. Antalya has perfect weather. Hadrian's Gate here was built in the year 130 of the common era. It's still spectacular today. Coffee shop and pizzeria. Now keep in mind that the prices in the old town are going to be a lot more expensive than those on the other side of the wall, which I will show in the video a bit later on. Naturally, this is the most touristy part of the city. Fresh juices here. 70 for an orange, 80 for a medium pomegranate, 70 for carrot. Around 40 lira, 41 lira is one pound. Actually, I will give you the price breakdown right now between the pound and the Turkish lira. For the currency conversion, I'm using an app called XE. So one pound is equal to 42.65 Turkish lira. It was 40 when I arrived in Turkey. Five pounds is 213.26 Turkish lira. 20 pounds is equal to 853. 50 pounds would be 2,132. And double it for 100 pounds, 4,265. Let's try the US dollar. One dollar is equal to 33 lira. $5 will take you up to 165.29 lira. $20 is 661 Turkish lira, thereabouts. 50 is 1,652. And for $100, that'll take you up to 3,305 Turkish lira. I reached Antalya by taking a bus and Buses are the most affordable way to get around the country at the moment. You can obviously fly. This is quite a beautiful courtyard. You can fly, but prices of flights in Turkey have gone up quite a lot for domestic flights in the last few years. After COVID and everything else and the cost of living dresses and bags and summery clothes lots of really beautiful boutique hotels with wooden lattices and windows old stone brick walls here in the old town let's have a quick pop in here look at this looks beautiful just to give you an idea how fancy some of these hotels in Antalya look. Let's check their menu. There you go, 1,100 lira for a breakfast. 2,000 is around 50 pounds. That's about just over 25 pounds for the breakfast. That's two people, 225 for a menemen. Let's check their pizzas. Four cheese, 450. What about main courses? Seabass Grill, 850. Beef tenderloin, 1000. So these are quite expensive, definitely for Turkey. You don't normally see prices that high, but I can totally understand. Look at that place. And you're right in the prime area of the old town. But if you think those prices are good, that is one of the more expensive places. 
So if you think, oh, that's not too bad, that's even cheaper than my normal prices in Western Europe, then you're gonna have a lot of success here because they only go down from that. Sometimes touristy places don't get the blend right with their development in older, more historical parts of the city. But I think uh, old town of Antalya is tastefully done, to be honest. Look at the views down the alleyways. It has got a lot hotter here in Turkey. And so now I'm rethinking my plans to go east because that's the hottest part of the country. And right now is the hottest time of year. There's even been a heat wave in the last few days where it's hit 41 degrees. So as we get deeper into July, I don't think now is the right time to go east. I think I need to come back during the winter season to go to places like Kars and Diyarbakir and Adana, Gaziantep, Mardin. Another hotel here with a restaurant and bar. Let's have a quick look. Penne pasta for 250, 290 for ravioli pizzas and chig borek 220 a steak for 600 grilled kofta 370 those are pretty reasonable actually a pint of efes for 160 Honestly, not too crazy, although still expensive. Good rating. As we make our way through the old town, we will reach the port at the bottom, the harbor, which is the most spectacular part of Antalya. The views are just amazing. But before we get there, I'm gonna rewind a little bit to my breakfast. This morning, I went to a place pretty close to the hostel I'm staying at, and I'm gonna show you the food and the prices, and also of a coffee and a cafe afterwards. So this is where I'm going to eat this morning, Luna Garden. A beautiful setting with trees and plants all an outdoor seating area. Looks quite fancy. If it was in another country, you'd probably think this place would be expensive. So let's see the prices. All right, so let's take a look at Luna Gardens menu. The beverages, let's go straight to coffees. For a latte, it's 60 lira, cappuccino 60, Americano 60, pretty reasonable. A Turkish coffee will cost you 55 lira. Let's go to some of the food. Breakfast dishes. We've got a plain omelette for 140 lira. Cheese omelette, 145. Turkish bagel plate, which includes olives, cucumbers, mozzarella, 140 lira. So it's about three pounds or three pound 50. And the smoked turkey bruschetta, 210. Salmon tartine, 250, getting a little bit more expensive there. Avocado toast is 195 with a little salad on the side. Let's have a look. Toast and sandwiches. Cheddar toast, 145 lira. A Montana sandwich with avocado cream cheese, 165. So most things here under 200 for breakfast dishes, just about, or around 250 for the maximum one. And for the main course here, we've got a chicken in Cafe de Paris sauce, which is 220 lira. Chicken curry sauce, 220. Again, schnitzel, 220. Anything under 300 lira in a place like this, and I think it's a very reasonable price. Mixed pizza, 240. A classic burger, 280. Cheeseburger, 295. And a quick look at some of the pastas. Fettuccine, 230. Penne Arribiata, 185, 
spaghetti bolognese 235. So I just finished my breakfast here in Luna Garden and I had a turkey bruschetta poached egg breakfast which came to 220 lira and then also some fresh orange juice which was 85 lira so in total it was 305 lira quite expensive might be a little bit more somewhere else but in general cheaper than Istanbul for that kind of breakfast I'll show some more local places as we go through the day and show you just how affordable Antalya can be but in general if you're spending less than 10 pounds on a good quality breakfast in a place like this which looks quite pricey then it's not the worst thing in the world just next door to here there is a cafe which is modern and quite a nice looking chain so let's check the prices of the coffee inside here it's called U1 coffee so let's take a look at the prices 54.99 lira for a filtered coffee americano cappuccino or latte so just about 55 lira slightly over one pound which is really good value look at all this all the same price pretty much apart from this raj coffee so you on coffee gives you a filtered iced coffee for just over one pound using colombian beans they say arabica and then you've got the outside view feels like i'm on holiday somewhere tropical and beautiful which antalya is like that and then inside lots of nice air conditioned seating so in Antalya, I've been staying in a hostel. It's called Flaneur Hostel, and it's a couple minutes walk away from Luna Garden, the place I showed for brunch, and Hadrian's Gate. It's in a great location, and it costs me around £16 a night. £15.96 to be precise. It's a six-bed dorm, it's very clean, and I recommend it in Antalya if you're traveling solo. That's a lot more expensive than a hostel you can find in Southeast Asia, perhaps for 10 pounds a night or less. However, it's a lot cheaper than hostels in Western Europe in the summer, which you're paying 30, 40, 50 pounds in excess. But if you want to have a private room in Antalya, then how much is that gonna cost? Let's see what kind of prices we can find for this weekend, one room, two adults for two nights in Antalya. Flaneur Hostel is there. Two nights is 77 pounds for a double room, although I've got my genius discount there. That's 101 for a decent private room, but nothing too fancy either. Two nights here, 134 in a place with 8.6 rating. 9.1, this is quite expensive, 353, so you can see how expensive things can get. Again here, two nights in this hotel, rated nine on booking.com with 893 reviews, that's 124. So we're talking 50, 60 pounds a night if you wanna stay somewhere pretty decent. A budget double room for two nights, 49 pounds. So you can find it for 25 pounds a night, as cheap as that for a private room. But if you want to find somewhere decent, then likely you're gonna be paying 50 to 60 minimum and even more money for somewhere a little bit more fancy. A bit further away, you can see this is nine kilometers from the center. You've got 116 pounds for two nights in this hotel, which is on Conyalti Beach. Esperanza rated 8.3. You've got 91 there, but I've got a huge discount with my booking.com genius membership. Here, there's a really nice hotel in the old town rated 9.1, two nights, I'm getting 110 pounds. Again, the original price was 189. So we're seeing that Antalya isn't spectacularly cheap, but it is good quality with lots of highly rated hotels for around 50, 60 pounds a night. And some of them you can get a little bit cheaper if you don't mind compromising on one or two luxuries. 
So after showing you a sort of tourist friendly, nice breakfast place where I had my brunch and the coffee shop, I want to now show you a local place for lunch, which you basically take a plate and you tell them to fill up what you want on the plate and then they'll charge the fee depending on how much food you take. In case you want to find it for yourself, that is the name just there, Vasil Offender. Bit of a queue. Mahawa. Uh, pilaf. Uh, small. Okay. And Iki Tavuk. Iki Kofta. Iki uh, Fishikula. Vegetables. Lotus. The beans. Yes. Okay. Finish. Finish. Teşekkürler. Lütfen. Okay, so got my plate of food here, and I have not been holding back. Got rice, vegetables, kofta and chicken, salad, beans, another vegetable dish, an iran, and the water. All of that is 105 lira, that's just under £2.50. So if you go local, you can save a ton of money and you can eat very healthy here. So while there are more expensive, fancier places, it's still possible to eat local Turkish food very affordable in Antalya, despite the inflation. I don't think you could find this in Istanbul as cheap as you can find it here, close to the center of Antalya, like you could close to the center of somewhere in Istanbul. Just outside the old town here is a famous fried fish place, fish and bread, Çetir Balik is called, and you can see different types of fish and the prices 125 for mezgit sardalia 115 levrek sea bass 125 i'm now here in the roman harbor which is in my opinion the number one place you should at least visit in antalya if you're going to chill out for the rest of the time you cannot miss the harbour. You'll see the views in just a moment when we reach the pier. They're pretty spectacular. And just to see how overpriced <laughs> things are by the harbour. Look at this. Compared to my lunch, which was just 100 lira or so, obviously in a local place. 550 for an Adana kebab here. You can get it for 250 in most parts of Turkey. I wouldn't recommend eating down here unless it's a highly rated restaurant with some kind of speciality. Don't be lured into some of the tourist traps. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. So this is the view from the pier and you can see people swimming. I think it's 200 to rent a bed. Look how clear the water is. And then of course, the spectacular mountain view on the other side of the water and the Roman harbor behind us. This never gets old. It's the first place I came to take a look at as soon as I arrived in Antalya and coming back here almost every day just to see the view as it's really not a far walk from anywhere near the old town coming up from the pier here are the prices of fresh juices watermelon juice 120 three pounds 
110 for a medium pomegranate and milkshake prices. 120 for a large pomegranate juice, although it is fresh, they make it in front of you, you can guarantee that. And it's still cheaper than in Istanbul. It costs 140 to 200. Even I've seen people selling it for more than 200 in Istanbul. So it's still a bit pricey compared to other parts of Turkey, but cheaper than Istanbul. And I think that's the general kind of theme of things here in Antalya. After making my way back to the new town, I decided to go for dinner in a restaurant that was highly rated and a little bit out the way to show the difference in prices between the new town and the old town, which I've just shown. So how much are things in this nice restaurant here? These are the starters and salads, and then Donna there for 320. Adana kebab is 320. Kofta meatballs is 280. And then different stews between 340 and 440. Lama Jun 140. Other pitas 210, 240, and 280. Chicken skewer, Dabuk Shish 270. It's 15 lira for a water, 35 for a small iran. Desserts, 120 for a kunafa. So I've ordered an Adana kebab for 320 lira, but look what is included here just for free or complimentary along with your order of a main dish. I've got salad and yogurt, chig kufta, and then this fresh bread warm from the oven over there. And even a salad as well. So plenty to snack on before the main meal comes, all for no extra charge. I love the open kitchen here, kebabs cooking, and the pita oven, lama jun oven. Okay, you're gonna show me. Chef, chef. Chef, oh, okay, chef. yeah. <laughs> This is for me. This is Okay. Mahaba. Look at the flour and the rolling, the fresh dough there for the bread. All right, here it is, the Adana kebab with barley and roasted tomato, a chili pepper and some onions along with the others and the beautiful fresh bread here to use with the kebab. Let's dig in. So finished the kebab there and now ending with a chai which is also complimentary. So for just the cost of the main meal you get those starters, chick kofta, salad, dips and also a chai at the end for 320 lira for the Adana kebab, which is around £7.50. I'll leave the exact rate below as of today. So spending £7.50 to eat in a nice air-conditioned, fancy-ish restaurant where people dress up and go out for dinner, and spending well under £10 per person and getting all that food included. So very reasonable. That's all for showing the prices in this video. Let me know below if it surprised you did it impress you what are your thoughts on antalya is it worth a visit what is the situation like with the turkish lira for you do you think it is now too expensive to visit turkey or do you still find it a very viable summer destination i want to hear your thoughts below if you're interested in joining my iraq trip later this year you can check out the link in the video description all the details of the itinerary and the price and what's involved are down there below the video. It'll be great to see a few of you later this year for those that are keen to join me in Iraq. But for now, that's all, and I'll see you on the next video here in Turkey. Peace.